Watching a woman apply makeup is not such an unusual sight, but sometimes the results can be terrifying. I do special effects makeup, which includes like burn, scarring, cuts, wounds, like if you have a bone sticking out, I guess, kind of like. And it can range from gory to like Alphaba from Wicked, looking like that. It's kind of fun. I think it's really cool to be able to go from normal looking to like have to just looking kind of weird, I guess, if that makes sense. Have like to having different kinds of bruises or abrasions and like burns and being able to replicate that but in not looking real. How long have you been doing it? Since about March, so oh, this almost year. a year, yes. Okay. So, almost a year. I'm in the eighth grade at Collins High School. Okay. Do you like to watch horror movies? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. I don't like horror movies. Mm. I thought maybe that's where you got your ideas. You like the walking dead, things like that? No. I watch Supernatural, and that's about it. Like what? Uh, I like watching like crime shows and stuff like that. For example, like Bones or NCIS, stuff like that. I kind of get my ideas from there. So I'll just like screenshot it if I'm watching it on Netflix, mm -hmm. so I can get ideas from that. But I don't like The Walking Dead. Is this something you'd like to pursue? when you're in a career? Uh, not really. I like to, I think it's cool to do as kind of like a pastime, but not as a career. I probably wouldn't be able to make it kind of fun. I'm ripping out different parts of it right here, so it creates a different type of texture for a bruise. There's one. So. I'm gonna grab my stuff on um, I use Myron liquid latex. I just get everything that I use from Caulfield's down in Louisville. So what I normally do is then I start out with a like thin layer just on my cheek. And then kind of wait for that to dry a little. What I normally do is co I use cotton with the latex to like build up around it, I guess, to create that cut look. So I'll just tear it off. I did this one thing about two months ago, maybe? I can't remember. But I used gelatin, which is a like a very, very cheap FX product to make. And I'm it's really easy to use for like getting a zombie look. So I did that for the first time and it didn't look half bad, so and we were just ordering pizza out for the night. So when we go, went to go pick it up, I still had on the gelatin, but we kind of drove through town to go get it. So um, people would like 
kind of just look at me, look away, and then do a double take. It was so, it was great. It was so funny. There was at least like three or four guys who looked freaked out, and it was it was funny. Does that make it worth it? Oh yeah, like it's funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's definitely a lot of trial and error going into this and seeing what works and what won't, what products will go away. at school one time and we had to talk about what we do for hobbies so I said I do special effects makeup but I asked my teacher if I can include pictures and one of my friends was convinced that it was not me and I was like mm -hmm. Dad's a cop and mom's a nurse. Yeah. What do you think when you see this? I I was totally surprised. She started watching this lady on YouTube and got some ideas and then she started kind of doing them herself. And when she first started doing them, like most people, the more she did it, the more realistic it looked. So over time, we got to see her evolve into really realistic, again, being a nurse. It looks really real. One night we went out to dinner and for whatever reason, Madeline didn't join us. So when we came in the door, she was laying in our living room floor with all these cuts and bruises and in that pose of having just been beaten up. And for a slight second, it was like, Oh my gosh, what just happened? And then she jumps up and, Hi, how was dinner? You know, did y'all have a good time? And I about beat her myself because she scared me to death. It looked very real. So we got past that. When she very first started, her poor grandmother, um, she had done a total road rash. The whole side of her face looked like it had been ripped off her face. And so we took a picture of that and sent it to her grandmother and told her that unfortunately Madeline had fallen down the steps and that she may need some, may need to go see the doctor. And she completely believed it, said it looked totally real. When she found out that it was just fake, she wasn't real happy that we had kind of tricked her, but she said yes, absolutely, that it looked so real. And of course that's what Madeline wanted to hear because she wanted it to look real, but we felt really bad that we kind of tricked her grandmother, so, so, but we enjoy it. We, I mean, typically, normally, Madeline's involved with volleyball and cross country and all these other things, so this is just kind of a fun thing for her to do outside of those things. <laughs>